Hello everyone. Today in Ancient and Medieval Adventures Presents, we're going to be traveling to ancient Egypt to learn about Egyptian symbols of power. In ancient Egypt, the king was called a pharaoh. He was the most powerful person in Egypt, and it was his duty to lead and protect the people he ruled. To do this, it was very important for him to show his people and his enemies all the power he had. Using special symbols, the pharaoh's power was shown in artwork all around the kingdom. Let's look at some of those symbols now. First, let's look at the most basic way of showing the power of the pharaoh, writing. The first system of writing in ancient Egypt, known as hieroglyphics, was very important in spreading messages about the king's power and many other things. Hieroglyphics were the oldest form of writing in the kingdom, and the Egyptians started using it over 7,000 years ago. Hieroglyphics were simple picture signs carved into wood and stone, painted onto walls, or drawn onto ancient paper called papyrus. They took a lot of hard work and skill to carve and paint. There were over 7,000 different hieroglyphic symbols, and about 500 of them were very commonly used, so that many people could easily understand them. Most hieroglyphic symbols were simple drawings of real objects that people saw in their day-to-day -day lives, like birds, the sun, and plants. Symbols like these would have been easy for most people to recognize and understand, even if they had not been taught how to read and write. After hieroglyphics, one of the most important symbols in ancient Egyptian art is called an ankh. This symbol means that whoever was gifted it or holds it has eternal life or lives forever. Most Egyptian art shows the ankh being given to the pharaoh or members of the royal family by the Egyptian gods. Egyptians believed that the pharaoh and his family were gifted eternal life by the gods themselves. Being blessed with eternal life by the gods gave the pharaoh and his family power in the eyes of their subjects. The uraeus was another important symbol of power worn on the forehead of a pharaoh. The uraeus was the head of a cobra or snake that was placed on the front of the pharaoh's crown with its hood or neck flared in warning of attack. This snake represented the king's power and strength, especially to his enemies, and showed his people that they were under his protection. The nemes was a headdress worn by the pharaohs to show their status as king. It was a headcloth that was tied around his forehead with two flaps coming down on either side of their head, just over their shoulders. The nemes was worn with the crown and the uraeus. Scarabs were dung beetles that were often shown in Egyptian art because they were symbols of the Egyptian sun god Ra. These beetles were seen as marvels of nature because when they laid their eggs in dung, poop, they would later hatch and bring forth new baby beetles. The birth of dung beetles represented the cycle of rebirth, just like the sun rising and setting every day. Pharaohs were known to use scarabs in their clay seals and amulets to commemorate important events or show their royal names. Scepters were very popular in Egyptian art depicting the pharaohs. The was scepter was a tall staff that was forked at the bottom. Sometimes the staff had a dog head on top, connected to the Egyptian god Anubis. It was meant to display royal and godly power intertwined. The pharaoh holding the staff held great power in his connection to the gods, such as Anubis, who was the god of the afterlife. And finally, Two of the most important symbols of pharaonic power in ancient Egypt were the crook and the flail. Most pharaohs in their statues and other art are shown holding the crook and flail across their chests to show leadership and power. The crook looks like the staff a shepherd or sheep herder would use to herd their animals. Just as the shepherd takes care of his sheep, the pharaoh in his power kept the people safe and it was his duty to protect them. The flail represented the pharaoh's power and connection to the gods especially the god Osiris, the god of the dead, and the afterlife. In summary, pharaohs were the kings and the most powerful people in ancient Egypt. They showed everyone their power and connection to the gods through various symbols in art and dress. These included hieroglyphs, the ankh, the uraeus, the nemes, scarabs, the was scepter, and the crook and flail. Thank you all for listening. We hope you enjoyed this ancient and medieval adventures presentation. Be sure to check out our other fun lessons and activities on our website.